I'm normally a go fast, turn left kind of guy, but then I saw this truck. A while ago I did a video saying that I don't believe in unboxing videos, so naturally the unboxing video experts told me that I had to do them or I wouldn't be legitimate. So here you go Slick, it's my unboxing video. And this being the internet and all, I suppose this unboxing video makes me an expert on unboxing videos. And just to prove that, here's everything that came out of that box. And it's all undamaged and I didn't get hurt. We have to keep in mind that I've just come back from a 25 to 30 year absence from RC cars. While I was gone, people like Traxxas really stepped things up. Traxxas licensed the F-150 body style and they did a really good job of replicating it. I fully expected these chrome accent lines to be a sticker, but they're not. They're chromed plastic and a separate piece that gets screwed on. The Ford nameplate on a tailgate is also a separate piece that's applied at the factory. The chrome strips above and below that nameplate are stickers, and that was the only place I found an issue. This one end got a little barfed up when I put it on, and I haven't tried fixing it yet. I wanted to show the only defect I could find in this whole thing. The chrome bumpers on both ends of this truck are both separate pieces. The grill and headlight bezels are also another chrome piece that's added at the factory. And they do make a nice light kit for this truck. And when you don't have the studio lights just right, you can't tell that the Ford letters on the hood are actually a sticker. One of the things I almost missed the first time around was that this thing comes with a receiver trailer hitch installed. And you can get little metal towing heads that plug in there. I gotta get one of them. There appears to be a good number of people that don't like the idea of having stickers for windows. They want them clear. I don't plan on crawling inside and trying to look out, so that's not a big issue for me. And I knew a lot of F-150 owners back in the late 70s, early 80s, and a whole bunch of them had their windows tinted real dark. The factory installs this rolling light bar. The fancy light kit for this truck does include lights for those cans. I've seen several people point out that the bed in the pickup is kind of high, but I suspect that's because of all the shocks and stuff underneath it. When I have to go pick up plywood, I guess I can servo tape it to the bed. I can't tell you how much I hated those little body pins I used to lose all the time, and how happy I was to see that Traxxas got rid of them. This is a really easy to use system that does wonders for making the truck look more realistic. Now I can start throwing body pins at people I don't like. The chassis itself will look pretty familiar to previous Traxxas owners, but it has been modified. I'm told it is a little bit longer than normal, but the big thing is that it's got the lift kit already installed. I guess I wasn't expecting metal C-channel frame rails. The long control rods for the drive units are also metal. I wonder if Traxxas parents are watching what they're doing with the production money. Of course we'll all appreciate all this extra metal when we run into something, which we most certainly will. Adding a lift kit and larger tires helps improve ground clearance. The secret to getting this differential up in the air is the portal axles. This axle design uses a gearbox at each wheel. Getting the differential up so much higher gives this truck a lot more usable ground clearance. There just isn't anything flimsy here in terms of the case, the bearings, or the gears. And controlling all of that suspension travel is four threaded body oil filled shocks. I always like threaded adjusters over shims. Also included is this TQ1 radio and it has all the features you need for a rock crawler. This switch lets you shift the transmission from low to high speed. This switch lets you lock either of the differentials or both of them. This system also has a form of cruise control that comes in handy for when you're on trails or crawling. And you can adjust that cruise speed with the front dial here. The other dial to the rear is for steering trim. These factory installed servos let you lock or unlock either of the differentials or both of them from the radio. The electronic speed control comes with three driving modes that can make a lot of situations easier to handle. And this is the servo that lets you shift the transmission from low to high speed, again from the radio. Traxxas wasn't about to have hood pins holding a battery in, so they made this nifty lever up that you can adjust for two different size batteries. So all that's left for me now is to wait for some weather so I can get this thing outside and run something over out there.